come into this room with me and just see the state we're in at the moment. So what I'm doing is basically giving this room a really good spring clean. This is something it's been needing for a while and I have been putting it off a bit because I knew it would take a long time and I've been really into my work and I find that when I'm into work I can't keep switching between cleaning and working. I've been trying to do a bit here and there but not very successfully and um, I think I'm one of those people who just needs to concentrate on one task at a time so I've stopped work for a couple of days and I'm just concentrating on getting this room sorted. I'm going to make sure everything is put away. As you can see, I have loads of art materials and paperwork and stuff that needs to really find a home and be tidied up. And um, everything will be getting a really thorough clean along the way. And I'll also be chucking out some of this um, stack of boxes. I mean, I only have a few in here. I have more in the other little room that joins this one. because we're coming into spring now properly and I don't think we'll be lighting any more fires until at least, I would say, probably October. So, um, yeah, we'll get him cleaned up and restocked with wood so that when we do light a fire, he's all ready. And there's our log basket as well, which is looking a bit low. So I think we'll fill that up and I don't know what we're gonna do with that. We'll make a decision. But um, yeah, there's quite a lot of cleaning that needs to be done to this. I'm just cleaning this little cabinet at the moment and I realise that most of the stuff I keep on top of here is actually stuff that's going to go in my office eventually when we have decorated that room. But um, yeah, it's all my packaging stuff, kind of labels, string, washi tape and so on. And um, these cute little containers here, um, they have all of the tape and the scissors and the customs forms and all of that. And a lovely little tile from my Dutch friend Angelique. That needs to go up on the wall. That may be going in the office as well. But I realised that I hadn't really told you that I'm going to have a separate room for my computer and any packaging materials. It will be kind of my admin, my admin room, my packaging room. So we're kind of calling it the office, but um, I'll take you in there and just show you a really quick view of the room. You don't be horrified because it looks terrible at the moment, but it will look hopefully amazing in the not too distant future. Okay, so this is the little, or what will be the little office room. Let's see if we can put some, shed some, oh, that worked. <laughs> I think that might be an energy saving bulb and that's not my lampshade. Um, yeah, so it looks like this at the moment. And um, yeah, we were trying out paint colors on the wall, but it's not going to be green, nor is it gonna be blue, and nor is it gonna be pink. But it has this really lovely cupboard here. It's original to the house, I think. And um, that will be great for storing all of my kind of stationery and packaging supplies and there's a little nook around here which will be good for my desk and computer and I'll have my printer in here and um, I'll be able to do all of my packaging I'm going to have not this table but a nice white table here where I'll have some space to package but as you can see it's become a bit of a dumping ground because we're renovating the kitchen and so a lot of the stuff has just been put in here for the time being. If I come out here, you can get a better idea. It's not, you know, it's not really tiny. It's not like a cupboard, but yeah. So it'll be fun to show you the process of, of doing this room up as well. It's now Tuesday and the last footage you will have seen will have been from late on Sunday afternoon, but um, we took yesterday off. So I'm getting back 
to cleaning today and I've just sorted out this little desk that's in a nook here beside the wood burner which still hasn't been sorted out so we'll ignore that but um, I did a slightly different arrangement after I cleaned it I decided to rearrange the objects and some of them have come from other parts of the room and um, I thought it'd be fun to have a little move around and see things with a fresh eye so I've also decided to put this lovely card this was my Christmas card um, from Dominic this past Christmas and I know it's very wintry and not at all spring like but I love it it's inspiring so that's where it's going to live for the foreseeable future I thought it would be interesting to show you this because I was tidying up these magazines the other day um, this was when my studio was featured in an article in Breathe magazine in the UK and um, as you can see it looks really bare there compared to how it looks now. I don't want it to get too cluttered but I kind of like that it's a bit more lived in now. We'd, um, we'd only just finished decorating when these photos were taken and I'd only just started kind of filling the studio with all of my materials and things but it does it look so empty it's really strange to see this now just lovely to have that record of when we first set it up so we did quite a lot to this room it wasn't just a case of um, decorating you know throwing a bit of paint on the walls it was um, it was much more lengthy than that maybe I'll tell you about that someday but um, yeah I thought you might be interested to see that this was in the magazine last year, but we took the photos um, in the autumn of 2017. Just look at that sunset. I think the camera footage isn't doing it justice because to my eye it looks more apricot in colour. Look at the distant hill over there as well, and these clouds. I love this view at this time of the day. And I can see it better now because I just cleaned the windows. When I was showing you the magazine article earlier, I don't think I shared this tiny picture at the bottom of the page, which gives you a little bit of an idea of how this space looks before we redecorated. But um, as I said, it was much more than just a simple redecoration of the room. Anyway, that's a similar view. So it went from that to that. That's quite a transformation, isn't it? It's now the end of the day on Wednesday and I'm kind of fighting against the sun going down here, so apologies if this footage is a little bit dark. If I pan around, you can see the sun setting out there. But the room is finished, spring clean complete. Everything is looking tidy and organized and ready for me to start work in here again. Only this time, I have floor space and everything is organized so i'm really happy about that it does feel good even though it takes a lot of effort it feels good to have it clean i'm going to be doing a proper studio tour soon and i'll go into detail in that vlog about where i got the furniture and also tips for buying good quality furniture at really good prices so I'll tell you all about that but I've learned quite a few things along the way and if you're new to setting up a studio it might be quite interesting for you to hear this I know I certainly would have loved to have known a little bit more before I was setting my studio up initially I mean we're talking way back in the day here <laughs> when I first had a studio space but this is the biggest studio I've had so far and it is really lovely after all these years to actually have a decent space to work in it makes it much easier when you're working on larger paintings
But there we go. Studio tour coming up and also a craft tutorial as well. So um, I hope to see you next time and thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you.